Fear, violence, and anarchy are spreading in Haiti. Gangs rule the capital and key infrastructure, including some ports, and block food distribution. And the journalists capturing their actions take a great risk. The dangers are not new for Haitian journalists. Narrowly surviving a gun attack in 2022, Roberson Alphonse fled to the U.S. I hope that uh, nobody will experience that, but it's highly uh, possible that we have uh, Haitian journalists, we have we have to move and, and, and hide or, or, let, or, or flee the country for their own uh, safety. Alphonse still covers Haiti, but from the safety of the U.S., where he is a fellow at the University of Michigan. <laughs> Journalists in Haiti have been killed, kidnapped and assaulted in the past two years. Media watchdogs say it is one of the world's most dangerous countries for journalists. Journalists are kind of caught up uh, in this crossfire between the, the, the violence, gang violence, and uh, this institutional crisis, and uh, they are targeted uh, when they are trying to cover uh, uh, this. Journalists on the ground fear the situation is worsening and say there is no way to avoid one of the most treacherous assignments, covering the gang. They don't want, they don't want to hurt in, the, hurt in the country. And if you say the wrong things to them, you might be the next the next target. So it is, it's almost out of the point, it's a necessity to talk to the gangs I want to say. Some people don't agree with it, but it's, it can get also very dangerous. The gangs aren't the only threat. Sandra Lemaire, VOA's Creole Service Chief, recalls an incident involving one of her reporters in Haiti. And he was threatened by a police, national police officer, at gunpoint, threatening him to say, don't publish this because it makes us look bad. Lemaire says she checks in constantly with her team on the ground to ensure they are safe. My biggest fear is that they'll be killed while reporting. With the gangs in control and progress slow in forming a transitional government, media analysts fear for the safety of the journalists on the ground. Robin Guess, VOA.